this is part two of my, um, it's a requested kind of what's in my makeup bag video. And this is going to be about all of my eye stuff. I do have a lot, so I apologize if this is kind of long. And like I said in my first, um, the first part, I am not a makeup professional or anything like that. This is a requested video one of my friends wanted to see. Okay, I will start with mascaras. And I have no idea why I have this many mascaras. No one needs this many. No one. But I do. So, the first one, and this is amazing if I'm having, because um, I do like false lashes, but if I don't feel like putting them on that day, or maybe I'm having like contact problems, or if it's just an emotional day. Because TT thing is, um, will make me emotional. And if I know I'm going to probably cry at some point during that day, I don't put on false lashes. But I do wear this. And this is the Revlon Lash Fan Fantasy. And this, it literally does make your eyes look like you have on false lashes. Um, you've got the primer, which it, it's almost like a white type of mascara. It, it's literally white. And you kind of let that dry like 10, 15 seconds, and then you put on that actual mascara, and it's amazing. Um, highly recommend this, really love it if you like long, thick eyelashes. Um, if you like to go more natural looking, it's probably not for you. That being said, the Revlon Beyond, Beyond Natural is actually what I have on now. Um, I'm not sure if you can see it. it. It does look really natural. I have blonde lashes, so I do like to keep on um, mascara, even if I don't have a lot of other makeup on. This right here is just like it sounds. Um, it's really natural looking. It's great if you have blonde eyelashes or just more like a little bit of an oomph, um, but nothing too major. So this is like my go-to, like, normal mascara. The L'Oreal Voluminous Natural. I've only used this a few times because it is new. Um, but it it makes your eyelashes actually like really volume but not length at all. So it kind of makes mine look weird. Um, because I do have like not long eyelashes but they're thicker already. So this, for me, personally, I don't really like. The NYC Skylines Lengthening Mascara. And this is an extreme black. This I love. Um, because it's almost got like a little bit of like a sparkle kind of in it. So it's amazing. Um, if I'm going out, like at night with friends or something, I, I definitely do like this one. Because it's just like a fun, fun type thing. The CoverGirl Lash Perfection. This one has like a different type of brush. It's much, much shorter at the beginning. Um, and this is like the rubbery brush. I don't have any of like the old school style except for this one right here. This one's okay. I don't like it, but I don't dislike it either. It's just okay. This one right here, I do not like at all, and I'm not sure why I still have it. Um, it's the Lash Blast Volume from CoverGirl. This just, it's really clumpy, and I don't know what else to say. Um, it's simply like this really fat tube, and the brush is like totally odd looking. It's so fat. I don't really understand what they were thinking when they made this. It's it's a disaster. It really is. Next is going to be all of my eyeliners. Well, most of my eyeliners. Um, my favorite eyeliners are actually these two right here. Which I keep in a different form. Um, it's the Avon Super Shock. And these come in like a little kind of glass jars. And they come with a eyeliner brush. And you do it like that. 
And this comes out so much darker and so much smoother and, I don't know, I just, I do prefer these. And the other one I really like is the Maybelline New York Eye Studio. And both of these are really good. So I love both of these right here. Those are like my go-to ones if I'm going to be wearing eyeliner usually. But I do have a couple other ones. Um, I have the Wet n Wild Shimmer Stick. And this is in, I don't know what color this is. But it's like a sparkly gray or silver, as you can see. This I do like. Um, it's not my favorite color, but I do plan, um, like if I'm going to a party or something like that, um, I do like this. It's just, I don't really wear that much silver eyeliner, so that's <laughs> pretty much the only reason I don't wear that one that often. The Revlon Color Stay Eye Crayon. This one, it, it's okay. Um, I don't know what color this is, but it's a really nice brown. As you can see. And it goes on really thin, which is a thing I like about this. Um, if I'm trying to look more natural, since it is brown, um, and it is really thin, I, I do like this. So if, like, I'm going, you know, just to see my pants or work or something like that. I do prefer that one. This one right here is the Royal Paris 16 Hour in Infallible? Infallible? Anyway, Never Fell Eyeliner. This I really do like. Um, the only problem I have with this is that sometimes... Um, like if I get eyeshadow over my eyeliner and I want to like correct it, sometimes this has a problem and it doesn't want to like go back over the eyeshadow, but otherwise it's a really great thing. And I love the eraser on this one. It's, it's amazing. I don't know why, but I really do like it. This one right here, I do not like at all, and that's the Revlon Color Stay Liquid Eye Pin. Um... I don't know why, but it just, I mean, even on my hand, it, it looks dark on camera, but it does not come, like, a nice, dark, you know, eyeliner line when it's on your eyes. You have to go over it, like, three or four times, which is really annoying. Um, and the tip is so freaking flimsy and bendable, it's... It's just, I don't like it. You're bound to make mistakes with that one. You really are. Two other ones. These are the CoverGirl Brown and Eye Makers pencil. So these are just black. Um, I did have another one that I've used all the way. I really do like this. Um, they're much cheaper and, you know, they work. But they do go in a little bit thicker. So kind of one thing to be conscious of. We're getting to the end here, I promise. Okay, next is the ELF, or the Eyes, Lips, Face Liquid Eyeliner. This is just brown. Um, this one I do like. I just don't wear that often because it is such... It's like kind of a really plain brown. Um, and I like more of like a... I guess a sparkly brown almost. Um, but it is a good eyeliner. I just don't wear this one that much because of the color. I think if I had this one black, I'd like it a lot better. Next is the Wet n Wild Coal Brown Eyeliner. This one's really good. I'm not a fan of a stencil because... The eyeliner is good itself, um, but it it does have like one kind of major downfall, and that is it kind of crumbles when you're putting it on. So I don't really use this one too much at all. Like I've had it forever, and I've I've used it like two or three times because every single time it, it just crumbles. So next and last. This is the Revlon Color State Eyeliner. This is in black. 
and I've had other ones just like this. In fact, I think I just showed you one. Um, and this is an amazing eyeliner. Okay, after all that, <laughs> we are finally going to get into actual, like, by shadows. Hopefully, I can get all of this done within like 20 minutes. Sorry, it's a really long video. Okay, my favorite, as you will probably be able to tell, is this Revlon um, cream shadow. It's like a little collection of like four shades. And this one is not just nudes. This is by far my favorite, um, and they all have this little, or the newer ones at least, so like the last two months or so, have this little, um, you see the rest of my house, a mirror right there, so when you put it on, it's really easy. I have a whole lot of those. I have five. Um, I used to have more, however, I use them all. These come in like really nice colors. This one, this one is going to look horrible because this was my favorite. So it's all like blended and gross. Um, and this is the not just nudes. This is all of them. <laughs> so I did just get a new one in the same thing. This one right here is the khaki suede. That has like some really pretty colors too. And I do tend to blend them like in this case. So it is going to look really messy. This is the pink pastels, and this is really nice in the spring. It's super cute. I'm kind of embarrassed by how gross it looks. Um, and then this one is seashell, which I did use at the beach a lot, surprisingly. Because <laughs> it's like lighter. Um, it, it's just really pretty, um, especially in the springtime. So that is... By far, like, if I'm buying eyeshadow, I usually do like these. Um, but I do have a lot of other stuff, too. Um, I have the Color Me Glow Profusion. And this is the 12 shade eyeshadow. Um, I actually got this as a gift, and I had, like, two favorite colors out of this entire thing. Um, it did work okay. You just have to make sure you put primer on your eyelid before. Otherwise, it would come off in, like, two hours tops. So, this is good. Just primer first. The next are just a few CoverGirl. I've not even used all of these yet. Actually, I don't think I've used any of these. But I have used, um, I had a different color in this, and I, I think they discontinued the color, so I got three other ones. And this is just the CoverGirl Eye Enhancers. This is in 700 French Vanilla. This one is in Knockout Pink. And this is actually a really nice color once it's on. My sister has that same one. And then this one is the Pink Chiffron. So that's nice too. These are really good. Um, and they do stay on a really long time. But they don't like blend especially well with other colors. So that is like their one thing. Okay. Next is the Physicians Formula Bake Sands Eyeshadow Trio. And this is in... I, it actually does not say. But this is really nice. Um, and these blend especially well together. And they're amazing. I do suggest this. And as you can see, just a little bit going on my finger. And they are like very nice, rich colors. Next is a Clinique Beyond Shadow. And this is in Cherry Almond. Okay. I think this actually may have been discontinued recently. Um, but this is really nice, like, as a base. 
but I don't really like it over other eyeshadows. Otherwise, it almost like pulls the other eyeshadow up when you try to brush it over it and blend it. But as a base, it's good. The Mary Kay Icicles Cream to Powder Eye Color. I love this stuff right here. Um, this was like my favorite color during the spring. And it is just amazing. I don't think it says what color it is. Oh, it's just silver. It's just silver. But this is really nice, especially, it sounds kind of weird that if you blend it with pink, it's actually really pretty. Next is the Alame Intense Eye Color Powder Shadow Trio. And this is especially for blue eyes. I do not. I discovered I do not like blue eyeshadow at all. So I do not like this one. Um, but the brown in there, I, I do use a bit. It's a good eyeshadow. I just, personally for me, I, I don't like blue for some reason. Then we have the... Royal Hip High Intensity Pigments, and this is an 8x4 Progressive. This is so glittery um, and really shiny, so it's really good over top of like a cream shadow. It's amazing, especially if you're going out to like a club or something, this is really good. I'm not sure about daily wear, but if you're going out somewhere, this is good. Next, I mean, what's the cap to this? It's the L'Oreal Bare Natural. This, it comes with this little brush. I love this right here. Um, not sure about the color. Oh, it's in Bare Rose. And this right here is so amazing, and it does. It looks really natural when you put it on, but it, like, gives you that extra little bit of something. So, love these right here. I had them in a whole bunch of colors, and I love them. They they go, like, so smoothly. They don't fall off. Um, they last, like, all day, and they're just overall really great shadows. And last but not least, this is the Velocity Cream to Powder Eye Color, and this is in Shell Shocked. I like this one too. Um, it kind of, it's a lot thicker than some of my other cream shadows, but it does have a really nice color. So, if you don't like thick eyeshadows, you might not like that one. But yeah, that is it for all of my eye type of stuff. So yeah, that is part two. Uh, be sure to check out part one if you haven't already, and then however many parts are after this. Alright guys, bye.